Hi there, this is Brett Lonsdale from Lightning Tools and what I'm here to talk about today is Microsoft Teams personal apps. So around about a year ago now, or maybe a little bit longer than that, uh, we were one of the first companies to build some SPFX Teams tabs uh, using SPFX web parts. Uh, so we can add a tab inside of Microsoft Teams, such as things like our Lightning Conductor content aggregation tool, um, also Social Squared, uh, and uh, also some other ones as well. We'll see things like the data viewer in here somewhere. And uh, so what we can do is basically go through and add one of these SPFX web parts that was originally designed for SharePoint, but since they're built into the SharePoint framework, we can also add them as a tab with inside of Microsoft Teams as well. And uh, that allows us, uh, in this case, using the Lightning Collector to actually go through and configure a roll-up. So we can uh, roll up content, uh, whether it's from SharePoint lists or SharePoint libraries, um, or we can also aggregate from things like uh, Microsoft Graph and, and things like that as well. But what's new is we've got these things called personal apps now. So whereas this SPFX web part that was designed as a web part in SharePoint and also as a Teams tab, um, rather than actually having the scope of a team as such, what we can do with uh, personal apps is actually have them so that they're really scoped to Microsoft Teams across the board. So what you'll notice on the left hand side here is I can go to more added apps and we can either search for an app um, or we can click onto more apps and, and browse to them. And here under Built for Lightning Tools Limited, you'll see uh, a number of different products like the Lightning Data Viewer, Lightning Conductor, and I've got Social Squared twice. Now, there's a reason why I've got Social Squared twice. I want to show you uh, the difference between them. Um, this one here, when I select it, Notice it says here that we can add this as a tab at the top of a chat or a channel. So, uh, so that's what we were talking about you know, approximately a year ago where we can go through and design one of these apps and make it available as a Teams tab. And notice here I can add it to a team. And uh, when we click on to add to a team, I'm able to search for the team that I want to add it to. So here is a number of different uh, teams or channels we can add it to. And that would do the same thing. It would go through and add it as a tab. But what's different now is uh, here under this new instance, I've got Social Square Forums, and this can be available as a tab in the same way or as a personal app. So what we're going to do is actually add it as a personal app. And uh, that Add to a Team button has changed. It no longer says Add to a Team. It says Add. Um, or I can click onto the button and choose Add to a Team. So I just want to add this. And this time it doesn't ask me what team I'm going to deploy it to. It's just appeared here on the left-hand side of my navigation so I don't actually have to go to a specific team to access it it's really across the board which is really well suited for our social squared app um, because social squared it's useful to have sort of team based discussion forums uh, but it's also useful to have organization based discussion forums and that's really what I've created here um, so these uh, forum groups and forums I created ahead of time uh, in the back end uh, but here we've got products and we've got sales and marketing. You can design whatever forum groups you decide that you want to have uh, inside your organization uh, by clicking onto the uh, the cog icon here and you can go through and you can say add a forum group. So we could add a forum group for whatever you want. Um, it could be Microsoft Word, it could be human resources, uh, it could be uh, how to do expense claims, whatever it might be. Uh, it's really a discussion forum where people can post questions, receive answers in a structured manner. Uh, so you can always go to the relevant forum to uh, ask those questions. And you'll notice here if we uh, if we actually went through and added one called uh, Human Resources, just for that matter. So I could add that. Um, so we get this brand new forum group called Human Resources. And then I can create a new forum within there. And uh, one of them uh, may be uh, hiring. So we can put in the word hiring description. And I could add moderators as well. Uh, so if we wanted to have uh, a moderator or something like that, uh, we could add, add somebody uh, in here and they would be able to approve or decline posts uh, and replies to posts, they'd be able to move them uh, to different forums and so on. So uh, that is uh, is basically Social Squared, but really the, yeah, the, the focus on this was to show you the personal apps. And just as a bit of information, we're also developing our uh, deliver point um, application, which is the permissions management tool for personal apps as well. So with that, you'll be able to manage 
group membership, you'd be able to add uh, manage permissions such as uh, transferring permissions or, or removing people from different groups as people leave the organization. That's across the teams and also private channels and, and things like that too. Okay, so uh, check it out. You can actually download Social Square today. Uh, if you go into lightningtools.com and uh, go to the products menu at the top, you'll see the Social Square SPFX web part. That's what you're downloading. And uh, you can go through and add that to your app catalog. And inside your app catalog, underneath the files tab, uh, you'll be able to uh, cl click onto the sync to teams button. And that will make it available both as a teams tab and also as a personal app. Okay, enjoy it. Thanks. Bye.